G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Welcome to part two of my dual booting Linux and Windows 10 series. In this video, we're going to be shrinking the disk in Windows 10 to prepare for installation of one of our Linux distros, be it Ubuntu, Lubuntu, or Linux Mint. So let's uh, get on with that. What we're going to do is right click the menu in Windows 10 and go to Disk Management. And here we are in the Disk Management uh, application. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be shrinking the disk in Windows 10 to provide us a partition for installing one of our Linux distros. So what we need to do here is we need to, on the C drive, we just need to right click and click on shrink volume. It'll query the volume and give us um, some size options. Now it is an 80 gig um, virtual machine. So the size of available shrink is 58 gig and we need to enter the amount of space we need to shrink in megabytes. So um, obviously a thousand megabytes is one gig. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I've got available 58 and then the total size after shrinking megabytes will be 23 gig. That's the um, windows left over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it 30 gig will be good enough. 30, um, 720 I think is a perfect 30 gig size. And the total size after shrinking megabytes uh, for windows will be 50 odd gigabytes. So let's shrink the disk and do that. And as you can see, it has created a 30 gig unallocated partition there in Windows 10, which is all we need to install our Linux distro to. Now, obviously, if you've got a much bigger hard drive, you, you can take up a lot more space. So I'm assuming that the options that Windows gives you um, gives Windows enough leftover space for Windows to run, although coming to updates and all that, it might make it difficult if there's not much space left. So just keep that in, into consideration. It's best to, if you've got the space for 40, 50 gig, that would be good for Linux. 50 gig's comfortable. You know, if you decide that uh, you, you like what you're using and you wanna go full time and get rid of Windows, then you can use your whole disk. I suppose that's, that's another option as well. And that's all we wanted to do in this video was shrink that disk and give ourselves a partition to work with. So next video will be part three, which will be booting your USB um, on different devices. So we'll be looking at that. Um, it will be done with a camera. I'm gonna be filming with my phone. Um, I'll try to give you the best quality I can. Most important thing is just the things that you need to be aware of when uh, booting your USB and, and the best way to do so. So that's what we're gonna be looking at. And then possibly after that, we'll be resizing our disk in uh, Linux. So I'll show you both ways. I'm doing this in the best possible, in the most logical order that's uh, possible. And that is we've written the ISO to USB, um, shrinking the disk, which because we're still in Windows. Then we're gonna be resizing the disk the same as we did in Windows, but we're gonna do it in Linux. So everyone has all the knowledge that they need to do it whichever way is comfortable for them. So that's the plan. And then after that, we'll be looking at installs for sure. So that's it for this one. And I will see you in part three.